Guli. Shevchenko now has gone wide. Guli's delivered the cross. The berth has met him. Seven goals already in Serie A for Andrei Shevchenko. And they say he's still settling down. Well, how much settling do you need to do? Very, very lucky one against uh, Inter here on Saturday. Bounced back off his ankle before he knew anything about it. But a hat-trick earlier in the month against Bari in a 4-4 draw. Error by Gattuso. Petrescu. And out by Maldini. Long by Le Berth. So Gino had just about read it. Yeah, Wise had made one of those darting runs again from the centre of midfield, split the strikers and uh, come between the three centre-backs. One by Deschamps, who was then fouled by Gattuso. Now, I don't know, that to me looked... I thought Gattuso had won that well. But the shape. Ferrer! Ferrer! Oh, what a save! What a terrific touch over by the young keeper because Ferrer packed a hefty punch then. And you see, they will have been sat there. Ray Wilkins and that will have been sat right behind it. They'll have been screaming goal in because that looked for all the world as if he was going in the top corner. Great break, great strike, tremendous save by Abiati. Same shot as Stephen Carr for Spurs at the weekend. And he has found the corner. Chelsea's corner. Poyet rising. And this time without any downward leverage or power. I'll tell you what he has got. It's not one of those tactical battles where, where they're saying, OK, if we can hold each other for a draw or something like that. They both know that a win tonight would be massive for both of them. And they're, they're playing that way. They're playing almost if it's... Here's the last of the knockout stages. Ayala. Quite relaxed about uh, Milan attacking, except with Shevchenko's in for that. Well, Zola's charged it down for Ayala, and Abiati's had to come, and he had to make contact. And who's got a big idea here? Well, Poyet maybe had the idea, but couldn't execute it. Gattuso. Leonardo, Guli, Guli's cross, Beerhoff attacking it, Dehoy struggling, and protected by the referee, mercifully from Chelsea's point of view. Ten tons of Oliver Beerhoff uh, at your back must hurt a bit. Yeah, he, he, might have a, he might have a legitimate grouse there, the uh, big German. He's getting pressurised from the front by Desai. The big goalkeeper's about six foot five, and you really think he would have claimed it himself. Forward again by Gattuso, clever flick from Beerhoff, Shevchenko's onto it. Le Berth had to do the sensible thing. Dehoy may protest at him, but uh, Le Berth hardly had time to weigh it all up. Deschamps. A panicky moment or two for Chelsea. Gouli. Le Berth was calm enough that time. Zola is the outlet, and no more willing outlet is there. Petrescu. Zola. Petrescu's going wide. Zola's going infield. Aim towards Poyet. Who is uh, deemed to have fouled Gouli. Can't remember a goalless half hour of football that had enjoyed quite as much as this one. 
Costa Curta. Deschamps. Flores, two on two. Flo was uh, held up by Ayala. By fair means or foul. Fair to see that the uh, Norwegian had lost the ball in the first instance, but Ayala wasn't going to let him have it back. Wise is free kick. Flick by Poyet. Came back out to Flo! And another important stretching turn round by the keeper, who one of might not have thought it was going wide anyway, but who wasn't taking any chances. Very bright again, wasn't it? He's hit this first time, and as you say, he actually was going to touch wide, but the keeper's not to know that. Desai went up for the corner, and Flo attacked it as well. Neither made contact. Zola could keep it in. Petrescu is right behind him in support. Zola's delivered the deeper option. 2D. The stands in the San Siro go up and up and up and bounce back off the clouds and down again. It's a vast, vast arena. Tresco. Gattuso. Serginio. Leonardo. Serginio. Ambrosini. Desai was breathing down his neck. And you must know about it when that's happening. I think the crowd also realised they'll have seen that many times, particularly in the... Yes, I played in midfield for uh, the Red and Blacks. For Tusa. Only passed away by Leboeuf to Leonardo! Well, it's only the uh, VIPs who can keep their arms crossed in <laughs> a game like this because the chances are raining in. Yeah, you half fancied that to be well and, you know, rising and dipping at the same time almost. Good strike coming down. I mean, a big keeper like uh, De Hoy would probably have got a hand to it, but once again, another moment of danger. We seem to be getting dangerous moments at both ends of the field. Oh, Beerhoff and the berth has slipped and Beerhoff has shot. And De Hoy could catch tumbling, it was uh, a comfortable enough take for the keeper. Yeah, you thought he'd have knocked it out of his feet there, Beerhoff. All right, he's confident because he's a goal scorer, but you think if he'd have just knocked it out of his feet, it would have been difficult for a Chelsea player even to get back at him. Just a little slip from Frank LeBerf again, that's a couple of times he's tried to get it and slipped. Ambrosini, little nudge from Deschamps, he made the most of it, he's got his free kick. He had the ball and then he decided that it was time to tumble. I think Deschamps was well pleased to see him go down, they'd saved him running, but of course, gives them a chance to load the ball into a danger zone again. with which task Serginio is charged. And De Hoyer's come, and it wasn't an entirely convincing punch. Gattuso met it, Gouli helped it on its way. Costa Curta. Baldini. Serginio. Gouli around the back. That's sometimes the part of football that goes unnoticed. You know, when uh, De Hoyer made the rick and punched it down low, uh, it was it was Gattuso was coming shaking up to hit it all of a sudden the first man flying out is sharp he, he actually pressurized him without touching him into slicing his shot that's that to me is great defensive midfield play it's one of the ugly bits of the game that uh, sometimes 
players don't like doing, but he certainly does it. Sergio. Petrescu for the second time, but the Brazilian came out on top at last. The berth clear. Wise. Flo. Very impressive start to the game from Tori Andre Flo. Poyet trying to uh, thread the eye of a needle, but he couldn't trick out Sola. Serginio again away from Petrescu, who is bemoaning the lack of cover. Serginio to run at Ferrer and to deliver it to the near post, and Leboeuf was just about there, and Bierhoff was very nearly there. And yeah, that's certainly where they don't want Serginio going, on the outside of them. Every, every time he's attacked so far, they pushed him infield. That was the first time I think they were testing him into Ferrer, see if Ferrer could take him one by one certainly is a danger when he can get to that position. Bierhoff's ball in, Shevchenko went down. <laughs> not that Frank Leboeuf would have anything to do with that kind of conduct. And there's not the suggestion that uh, Shevchenko might know the referee well, is there? <laughs> Steady, Rob. Awkward for Costa Curta, but it came to Serginho. Gouli. Aviaro stood up well. Leboeuf, good ball, and Flo is onside. But couldn't keep it in. That's a big ball for them, the one they can get. If they can get it in there with quality down the sides. For uh, Zvonimir Boban there. Waiting maybe to come on, see Flo didn't keep it in. Referee's assistant was right. Well, I don't think there's any doubt if the game stays in this sort of state for the middle of the second half, Boba not be on. Because if there's something they lack, uh, Milan, it's they're not they're not over-inventive in midfield. Leonardo, yes, when he's been in possession, although he hasn't done an awful lot apart from a shot or two. But there doesn't seem to be much craft in midfield. They're all basic bread and butter, honest to goodness players. Wise. Juso prevented it from getting through to Zola. 